70 pounds. What happened? You okay? Almost done. You are annoyed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that says the plumbing's wrong. Not like, hey, here's what we're gonna do, fix it. Don't worry, it's not that big of a deal, nothing, which I would love to see. Wait, hold on, the plumbing that's all underneath the concrete? That plumbing? There couldn't be more of a thanks, I hate it kind of text out there. Hey, so what's going on? First of all, sorry about the text, a little frustrated. <laughs> Didn't have a whole lot of words to say other than it's messed up. The contractor plumber got these off, which is not terrible. This one's only what, medium six feet by the time it gets lined up, but. That but sounds an awful lot like I'm about to be in the middle of a good, bad, good sandwich where they deliver some good news, squeeze in some bad news, and then finish up with some good news at the end to kind of take the sting away. Yeah, that one would be eight and then 10. So it started off at inches, became feet, six feet, eight feet, 10 feet. So we got So how this. do we, is it fixable? Yeah, it just sucks because it's brand new. We'll just come in a foot to 18 inches out, six inches on that side, six inches on that side, and then just move it, just cut a big rectangle out, bring that here, retest, we'll compact it first, new rebar, the slab won't match, so that's going to be the only downfall. Yeah, I mean, it'll be structurally sound, but it just won't look exactly the same. You'll see that patchwork in there, but it'll, you can smooth it off. It'll be okay. You'll see it, but it'll be fine. The agger, 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 aggregate. Does anybody here speak English? Do you guys speak English? The aggregate, I guess, is going to be, because this is probably going to be a little bit different, a whole lot different concrete. Pebbles will be different and all that, but if you're going for the industrial look, you know, yeah, there you go. Everybody likes a patch job. Do y'all hear how hard they're trying to convince me that this is okay? It's not the end of the world. Um, it sounds to me like this is happens in construction, no reason to panic, a little reason to be frustrated. This probably is something that should have been caught um, prior to the concrete being poured. I hired a general contractor to oversee this project, so I have to kind of lay off of my own personal responsibility a little bit. I'm really grateful that Shelby was out there to kind of oversee the general contractor, even though that's not any of his job assignment at this point. Hey Shelby, what happened? The uh, feeding to the from the water hose to cool the blade. So without water, it'll just burn the blade. Right. Fitting broke off. And that didn't cool it. So I'm gonna try to take that out. If you've ever wondered how we move plumbing in Texas, this is how. Four inch slab, cut, piled up, ready to get our plumbing moved. 
being on this end of the contractor subcontractor relationship has been really interesting. You know, typically in my day job, I serve as a subcontractor in the steel fabrication industry. But being on this side of the contractor relationship has really shown me just how important relationship really can be in getting the job done. So this plumber, for example, who was not the original plumber that kind of got us to the position we're in today, we've since parted ways with him. This plumber was actually a little bit more expensive, but because his communication game was so strong, I knew his timeline worked with ours. And so we ended up going with him. Well worth the price tag. All right, we're back at Hammer Mill and we've got the concrete cut taken care of. And our plumber has been burning the midnight oil and has all of our rough-in plumbing done. And so the next step, local municipality is going to come in and give us hopefully a green tag. And what that means is that we're good to go and we can then cover this up with concrete. So making progress. <laughs> I mean, I guess sometimes you just got to load it by hand, huh? When you buy $7 shovels, you can't overload them. Getting caught up where we're at on the hammer mill project. The dirt work's done, rebar's in, concrete's poured, cut the concrete, we put the plumbing, or fixed the plumbing. Now we just got the green tag. So they're gonna come back in after this green tag, they're coming in to pour the concrete back on top where the, everything was cut out. And then we should be back to like square one, <laughs> where we were supposed to be to start with. Yeah, we're where we're at now where we should have been two months ago. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. I mean, green day. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our inspection. They passed. What were they inspecting? Right down there, if you look, there's a yellow bug. Right. A lot of people don't understand why they do that in plumbing, but they put a yellow plug in there and it has an air up bag on the inside and they'll air it up and it blocks off the flow. Then they'll, came, they'll come and top this off with water. And if it seeps, that means you have a leak. So what they came, inspectors from the city came yesterday and green tagged it, meaning that there was no leak. And that's the city that did that, not the plumber, correct? No, that's the, that's the plumber. Oh, the plumber did the duct tape? Okay. And what was he trying to do? He's just making sure that the, I guess the poop goes downhill. That's that's the main thing. That is the main thing. <laughs> if anything there's to learn, it's to learn that poop rolls downhill. Yes. This was a tough one. I guess you could say that we're kind of climbing this um, ladder of real estate development one very painful rung at a time. Um, not only did we have to cut up a $200,000 slab, which caused time and monetary constraints, we also had to make the very tough decision to go ahead and change the leadership for this particular project. It is wildly intimidating to think that from here on out, it's just me, Devin, and Shelby calling the shots on this job. Stay tuned for the next episode to see how we handle it. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I need you to like and subscribe to this page so the YouTube algorithm can get this out to the people that need to see it. Listen, I'm an ENTJ in Myers-Briggs, a three on the Enneagram, and my love language is words of affirmation. So you've never met anyone more desperate for you to like and subscribe than me.